Hey guys, that monkey my back here for another video. Welcome back to another episode, episode 11 of Sniping with that Mug Gamer. Let's get right into it, guys. Just starting off the video, this video is always used, ah, these videos always seem to be longer. So remember, this is kind of a chill, relaxed kind of series. If you guys want to go and head and snipe while I'm sniping, we can snipe together, get some good cards, throw them up in the auction house. Yesterday, when I made a video, I had 30k. Today, I have 132k. No, you can, let's check solos because I know a lot of people can say, you've been grinding solos. I have not been grinding solos. And no, it's not because I've been playing online and I get pro packs and I've been selling the stuff in the pro packs because I didn't pull anything good. Plain and simple. I got a really good snipe, guys. I got a really good snipe on a player. And I didn't record it. I was I was off recording. I was just going through, you know, going through the, my typical thing I do. As that you guys have seen, I've gotten two snipes live on camera. Well, I've sold for like what 10k. I made five 10k off of. Yeah, I I I think I had a couple, probably like four or five. My auction binder, or not my auction binder, my like auction house thing. Uh, I apparently when you get off Xbox, I got off Xbox so I can play the so I can watch the um Panthers versus Broncos game. It apparently deletes your uh, information, so can't show you. But I got two snipes on some cards, and I've made a hundred k since then. So that's just a live example of why you really need to snipe, guys. You can snipe and make a lot of coins. But let's get right into it today. Let's um, set up all sniping filters now. Today, what I usually do is set all players elite, and then go by teams. Today, I want to go by something else. I want to see something real fast. Um, I just want to point the elephant out in the room because, um, well, not the elephant. What, what's that motto? Like, when everyone's saying one thing and then someone else goes against it, it says another thing. I guess it's like, not an elephant, but it's just like, you know, the one person says something else. Um, Frost Ellipse. You said, I found out 100% the hero collectible transfer over. In the description of the card, it says... Add this collectible to any month, man of the month set. Correct. It does say that. The only reason why I'm doubting it, and 100% I hope you all correct. Because anyone who has them, I hope they just keep the same collectible. The reason why I thought they wouldn't do that is for the same reason they seem to try to make sure if we, you know, as we invest, why all investments, they try the, the best to make our investments fail. And the reason why is because they can at any second just say, oh, you know, we said that, but we didn't mean that. And, you know, like, yeah, we had that as written down, but we're not going to do that anymore. Now we have this new thing where we're just going to use a new collectible. And that's how easy it is for them to do it. And honestly, we can't say anything about it because, uh, you know, they make, they make the game, so... That's what you have to remember, guys, is at any second, they could just use a new collectible. I know what they say on the, th on, the uh, on the description, but you have to remember that they, they're they choosing what they do for next month. And that means it's not set in stone what they're doing. So, in all honesty, I don't even think what they're doing, they know yet for next month. Because next month is next month, you know? It's this month right now. So, they might, they're probably going to have this, they don't have the set ready, obviously, because the player... I mean, this month hasn't even been played yet, you know? So, that's why the set isn't even created. When they make that thing say, for any man in the month set, yes, correct that, you know, it's for any man in the month set they said, but the set hasn't been created yet, therefore, th there's no guaranteed on anything. When they're making the set for the man in the month next, uh, player next year, or, and I mean next month, all they have to do is say, oh, not even remember that, you know? How are they going to remember what they put on the back of the card, right? So, when they're making the set, they might not even remember that they put it on the back of the card and just make a new collectible. Yeah, it, yeah, it said that, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about that, you know? So, just remember that, guys. It does say that, but you they could easily, so freaking easily, just go against what they said. So, just be careful and be very really, really out. I have a speech impediment. I admit to it. 
But yeah, just be very um safe, guys, when it comes to that. Don't don't be, don't be risky. I honestly, I 100% wish I could say that it's going to be transferable. But the sad part is, you don't know. You really don't know because they haven't made the set yet. And, and when they make the set, they might not remember that they put that on the card. And they might just say, oh, hey, someone might have a great idea and say, hey, guys, let's make, you know, these collectibles, September collectibles now, you know, to make it new and different because we don't want to do the same thing. They may all agree that's a good idea. And then you're over here, you know, with still with the old collectibles. And that's what happens. So just be careful. Be safe. Don't. Don't play it too risky, and yeah. Now, I'm trying to figure out, because it seems like whenever, I, I've been trying to, I'm trying to snipe like low overall gold, so like for really cheap, you know, to do the 10 badge set the easiest, but it seems like I can never find them when I'm recording. Like when I'm not recording, and I'm just going through the auction house, right? It just, I seem to find them all the time. But when I'm recording, it just seems so freaking difficult to do that. Let me check my head real fast and see if I can, um, find out uh, if there's any collectibles I mean if there's any um, players that have gold cards that go for cheap as of right now according to my head you know uh, obviously you know I'm, I can look at a base range of what cards are you know cheaper and I keep saying I don't, I don't know why I keep saying I know I have no idea I have that I have that bad habit of repeating words over and over again um it looks like Eifert? Not Eifert. I just called Kyle Rudolph Eifert. It looks like Kyle Rudolph does go for the low low. Let's see if he's up for... Nah. It also might be because I am doing this at 12 a.m. And I should be doing this during the daytime. Uh, key tip, guys. I said this before. Make sure if you do snipe and you do all this stuff, do it during the daytime. That's why I release these videos at 8 o'clock at night. So, I mean, it's like 10.30 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you guys can do them, you know, get the videos out and see them during the day and be able to snipe with me when it's a good time to do it. Obviously, I do realize if you're from the United Kingdom, shout out to my boy who's from the United Kingdom or the UK, you probably can't do that. But that's nonetheless, it looks like I won't be able to do that. So, let's go back to the typical sniping routine I do. All right. Let's go on to the next point because we talked about the man of the month collectibles way too much. Um, do, 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 do. okay. Big thing here, guys. When you do solo challenges, you get packs, right? You get all of these packs from doing solos. Well, not as much as last year, but you get some this year. What do you do with all the packs you get? You know, you get in all these packs. You, do you open them? Do you wait? Here's what I say you wait, okay? I know a lot of people have this misconception and a lot of people don't understand this concept when it comes to Madden Ultimate Team at least. If you have packs you bought in August, right? And it's a Christmas promo. And now in the Christ during the Christmas promo, there is um, you know, new players out. But in the new players in packs, right? And you have a you have a bundle, an eighty pack bundle you bought in August. If you open that eighty pack bundle during Christmas, the stuff that are in other packs and normal packs will be in your packs too. It's not like because your packs are old now they're not as valuable. You know they don't have the same thing as the other packs do. No, the other packs are the same exact you know value as I mean same exact um, stuff in them as the packs that you're opening up now. So holding on to packs for a long time does nothing that will hurt you. I promise, guys. There's still, if there's stuff in packs, it will be in, it could be also, there's just as good a chance it can be in your packs as if, um, as it would be in, you know, other packs. So, you can hold on to packs. So, just saying that now, you do not have to open packs when you get them and say, oh my god, I have these packs. You know, I want to get packs for Christmas promo, but I already had these packs from before. They're not going to have the same stuff in them. No, they're going to have the same stuff. As if you would just open up a regular pack. That's a, uh, I guess, rumor confirmed. It actually is a thing, guys. You do not have to, you know, be scared that you hold on the packs. Next thing. Right now, the uh, these ultimate packs are out. What does that mean? Well, elites. Yeah, elites, remember? The thing I talked about how 
all your elites why you should sell your team right now and not, you know, not have any cards in your team right now. Yeah, yeah. These things, yeah. The elites are out. Meaning, you get a guaranteed elite when you open up the pack. Guys, that's like the holiday promos, just like all that other stuff. Early in Madden, elites are going to be up in price. Throughout Madden, elites fall. Right now, guys, if you have, if you didn't listen to what I was saying when I said, sell your team now, sell, sell, sell in the beginning of Madden, in the end of Madden, buy, buy, buy. Right now, elites are going for 47k. Oh, I mean, right now, this Todd Go is going for 47k, which I think yes, a couple days ago he was going for 65k. The reason why this is the case is because of the fact that um, you know, these packs are guaranteeing elites, but. What that also means is you can buy you can buy a team if you did if you didn't you know do what um what's it called if you actually didn't um if you didn't sell your team I mean say if you sold your team and you want to buy a team right now you can because obviously these elites are very cheap um when ultimate packs come out come out of the game I'm guessing I'm just taking a guess here that these cards will go back up in price a little bit. I don't think they're going to go skyrocketing up the price and I really don't, I doubt they're going to do anything special. Because what you have to remember is what makes cards go up in price and go skyrocket, go crazy and everything like that is when a set is added to the game that true, that makes the, you know, makes the cards go up in price. That's what the big thing is. When sets are added to the game, that's when cards go up in price. And if there's no sets for the card, like most of these cards don't have sets. They're not going to go up in price. So most likely, you know, you can buy your team right now if you want to. It's most likely not going to go up in price. The cards. So don't try to invest in the, into these elites. But it definitely, if you want to buy a team, there you go. But I wouldn't recommend, um, of course, buying a team. Because look at what, how easy, if you were to buy a team, like you have, let's say you had a ball, you bought a team and it would worth 600k. Because of this one bundle, one bundle, your team would now be worth about probably 200 to maybe less than that. And that's 200K or less than that. And that's really sad. But that's the point of the view, guys. If you buy a team early on in Madden, it's going to go down. It's going to do nothing but go down in value. All right. Let's go on to the next point. Okay. So here we go. Why are packs, pro packs, I mean, better than premium packs. Premium packs include game changers, ultimate packs. Um, you know the the whole the whole nine yards. Okay, the whole nine yards. Why are those packs? Why are pro packs better than those packs? Well, the whole point of view, guys, is we'll, we'll even go to the um. We'll compare the pro packs right now to the ultimate packs. Even though I already you know I already did that. I already compared those two. I um, mean, in a separate video, a separate video, I compared the bundles. Let's compare an actual pack to um, a pro pack. So this is what an ultimate pack contains: one elite, fifteen golds or better, um, a guarantee. Okay, so let me just put mutt gear or mutt tip. Okay. And then it contains three team items or four team items. I, I'm, I actually I don't know about that. Four team items? It's confusing when it says three additional team items. We're just going to put four team items. And we're going to take away the Mutt Gear tip because that's pretty much what it's saying. Okay, so one elite, 15 golds or better. We're looking at this as being 2,000 points, okay? We're gonna see how many pro packs we can get with that. Okay, 2,000 points is what we have. We're gonna divide that by 150. We're looking at 13 pro packs, a little bit more, but we're gonna put 13 pro packs, okay? Yeah, so that's 13 golds or better. Gold or better. That's 26 silver or better. That's 39 bronze or better. And let me go to my handy dandy calculator for this measurement or calculation. Said the last. 
52 team items. So, in Pro Packs, you can get 13 golds or better compared to 15 golds or better. Correction, though, with 26 silvers or better, more or less, those silver spots contain can contain an extra gold. What that which that means, 15 golds or better, is actually just 15. No no chance of getting other than that. One elite it means one base elite probably going for 10k. 13 golds or better with 26 chances at getting a second gold in your pack. You have 26 chances in those packs to get a second gold. Oh, in all those packs to get at least one or two, maybe up to like, you know, all 26 would be extra golds. 39 bronze items, which could you could sell easily for some extra coins. And 52 team items, which that's about equivalent of 10, uh, well, actually 10 two badge packs, pretty much. I think it, that's some, no, wait, it's 15 each. My bad. I forgot. This year they changed that. Last year was it was 10 team items. Oh, it was 10 items, period, and now it's 15. It's weird. So that's like about three, two badge packs. So that's why it's better to go with pro packs. You get more you get more for your buck. You know, there's more space. There's more chances at getting something great. And that's just compared to elite packs. Compared to, like, you know, game changers, same thing. The silvers, bronzes, and team items, guys, although you might say they're not worth that much, correct and the golds are more valuable but they all add up you keep adding stuff up up and up and up and up and you're gonna get to that you know met you're gonna get to that number pretty much so that's pretty much my rant for that video guys or this video <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching um before i end this video real fast let me show you one more thing if you are new to madden and you're like hey how do i sell things you hold um lb on xbox L1, L1 on PlayStation. You click. Once you're in the binder, bam, auction house bought up. So once again, if you're in your binder, you have this jersey. You're like, how much does this go for? You don't have to go to the auction house. Just click uh, all, uh, LB or L1. Find out the price. Go to 500 coins. Bam. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's how you sell, sell things very, very quickly. If you are new to Madden. So anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like for more videos.